Hello friends! Today you will see what all of Gunfight at the OK Corral movie stars look like now versus when they were on the show. You will know their real names and ages. I will show you how they looked then in 1957 and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Number 1. Joe Van Fleet as Kate Fisher From the moment we meet Kate, we can see that she is not someone to be messed with. She is a saloon owner in a rough and tumble town, and she knows how to handle herself. But there is more to Kate than just her toughness. She hides a vulnerable side that she keeps hidden from most people. We see glimpses of this vulnerability when she talks about her past and the difficult circumstances that led her to become a saloon owner. Kate Fisher played by Joe Van Fleet, when she was 42 years old. Van Fleet died of natural causes on June 10, 1996, in New York City, at Jamaica Hospital in Queens. She was 80 years old. Number 2. Kirk Douglas as Doc Holliday In many ways, Doc's personality is a reflection of the harsh environment he lives in one that requires both intelligence and toughness to survive. One of the most interesting things about Doc Holliday is his loyalty, but also a notorious gambler who is constantly playing poker and other games of chance. Despite his gambling addiction and his reputation as a drunkard, Doc is an incredibly skilled marksman and he's not afraid to use his gun to defend himself or his friends. Doc Holliday played by Kirk Douglas when he was 41 years old. On February 5th, 2020, Douglas died at his home in Beverly Hills, California, surrounded by his family at the age of 103. His cause of death was kept private. Number 3. Rhonda Fleming as Laura Denbo Throughout the movie, Laura is shown as a supportive and loving wife to Grant. When he is shot and critically injured, she stays by his side and does everything she can to help him recover. This shows her dedication and loyalty to her husband and her strength in times of crisis. Despite the limited screen time, Laura's character stands out as a strong and independent woman in a male-dominated society. Laura Denbo, played by Rhonda Fleming, when she was 34 years old, Rhonda Fleming died of natural causes on October 14, 2020, in St. John's Health Center, Santa Monica, California, at the age of 97. Number 4. John Ireland as Johnny Ringo Johnny Ringo, a man of few words, preferring to let his actions speak for themselves. He's a master of intimidation and manipulation, using his reputation and his quick-draw skills to intimidate those around him. One of the most intriguing aspects of Ringo's personality is his obsession with death. He is fascinated by the idea of mortality and views death as the ultimate release from the mundane world. Johnny Ringo played by John Ireland when he was 43 years old. Sadly, on March 21st, 1992, Ireland died in Santa Barbara, California of leukemia at the age of 78. He is buried at the Santa Barbara Cemetery. Number 5. Lyle Betker as Ike Clanton Despite his reputation as a troublesome man, Ike Clanton possesses a certain degree of loyalty and cunningness. He values his family and friends and will go to great lengths to protect them which is evident in his willingness to lead the charge against the Earp brothers despite the odds. Ike's shrewdness and quick thinking make him a skilled negotiator, always looking for ways to outsmart his opponents. Ike Clanton played by Lyle Betker when he was 42 years old. Sadly, Lyle Betker died of natural causes on September 24, 2003 in Atascadero, California. He was 88 years old. Number 6. Frank Phelan as Cotton Wilson With his hot-headed and impulsive personality, Cotton is not one to shy away from a fight and is often seen trying to provoke his opponents, 
especially the sharp-tongued Doc Holliday. Despite his recklessness, Cotton's unwavering loyalty to the Clanton gang is evident in his willingness to do whatever it takes to protect his family and friends. Cotton Wilson as Frank Phelan when he was 52 years old. Sadly, Phelan died from pneumonia in Burbank, California on August 2, 1985. He was 79 years old. He was interred in the San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, Los Angeles, California. Number 7. Burt Lancaster as Wyatt Earp When we mention Wyatt Earp, we mention a man with a strong determination and shapes with unwavering courage and stoic resolve. He possesses an unshakable sense of justice and will do whatever it takes to uphold it. Moreover, he is an adept strategist and tactician, using his knowledge of the town and the law to outsmart his adversaries. Wyatt Earp, played by Burt Lancaster when he was 44 years old. Sadly, Lancaster died in his apartment in Century City, Los Angeles, after having a third heart attack at 4.50 a.m. on October 20, 1994. He was 80 years old. Number 8. Earl Holloman as Charles Bassettin. As a former lawman turned businessman, Charles Bassettin is dedicated to upholding the law and maintaining order in the town of Tombstone. He's a skilled negotiator, always seeking to find a peaceful re- resolution to conflicts rather than resorting to violence. Perhaps Charles's most notable trait is his loyalty to his friends, particularly Wyatt Earp. He stands by Wyatt's side throughout the movie, even when it puts him in danger. Charles Bessetton as Earl Holloman when he was 29 years old, and now he is 94 years old. Number 9. Ted de Corsia as Shanghai Pierce. Shanghai Pierce. Now there's a character with a personality as big as the state of Texas. His larger-than-life personality and his ability to command the screen make him a memorable figure in the history of Western cinema. Pierce is a shrewd businessman who's not afraid to get his hands dirty. He's involved in all sorts of illegal activities, including cattle rustling and bribery. Ted DeCorsia as Shanghai Pierce when he was 54 years old. Sadly, Corsia died at the age of 69 on April 11, 1973 in Encino, California from a heart attack. Number 10. Dennis Hopper as Billy Clanton Billy Clanton stands out as the youngest and most impulsive member of the Clanton gang. His tendency to act before thinking often leads him to trouble, as he is quick to draw his gun and challenge anyone who dares to cross his path. Despite his hot-headed nature, Billy is fiercely devoted to his family and will do anything to protect them, even if it means putting himself in harm's way. Dennis Hopper as Billy Clanton when he was 21 years old. Sadly, Hopper died of complications from prostate cancer at his home in the coastal Venice district of Los Angeles on the morning of May 29, 2010. He was 74 years old. We miss the gunfight at the OK Corral movie cast so much. Who's your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you on the next video.